A question for you. What are your thoughts on the Trump shooting? So on the 13th of July, 2024, Donald Trump was shot and wounded in his right ear whilst addressing a campaign rally near Butler, Pennsylvania. The would-be assassin, Thomas Crooks, a 20-year-old man from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, reportedly fired eight rounds with an AR-15-style rifle from the rooftop of a building located around 400 feet or 120 meters from Trump's stage. If there is one platform where individuals feel relatively free to inconspicuously unburden their minds, then it's here on the YouTube. As such, we'd like to conduct somewhat of a poll via the comments section, if you may, on what people think their inner thoughts as to how the events on yet another now historically synonymous date with infamy on July 13th really came about. We know who the shooter was, but are there any more parts to this allegorical jigsaw, or is it even a jigsaw to begin with? Of course, many opinions and conspiracies have been swirling around the net, so let us ponder the big three. Three options, was it? A Trump hoax. A few have speculated that this is a Trump hoax. The, some would have you believe, greatest showman on earth, despite being ahead in the polls and the recent Supreme Court ruling in his favor. Could this have been orchestrated as the Trump version of Order 66 to totally annihilate the Democrats and their nominees out of existence? as well as garnering the national sympathy vote. There is no doubt that the shooting has significantly boosted Trump. The obvious arguments against this are, would anybody in their right mind chance getting their head blown off unless theatrics, and moreover, a 20-year-old and bystander were killed? Be Biden deep state affiliates. It's clearly not looking good for Joe Biden. His health appears to be failing. The gaffes are becoming ever more regular, and he just doesn't appear to be a man in control. The Democratic Party overall are seriously struggling, and it would take a miracle, or dare we say, an intervention, for them to have any chance in succeeding in the upcoming elections. That aside, Trump is also a deeply polarizing figure in general. As such, did Biden or a deep state individual, affiliate or otherwise, elect to take evasive action and with or without the complicity of elements of the Secret Service? See Secret Service negligence. Complicity was mentioned in option B. But was it more just a case of the Secret Service being negligent in their duties in general? Or, more coincidentally as some would have it, that they were simply negligent just on the day in question, being that on the day of an assassination attempt? What with the clear double standards pertaining to current conflicts lies on the Iraqi war, the Kennedy assassination, revelations from the Assange leaks, to name but a mere few, sways of the public have understandably become extremely cynical Give us your answers, A, B or C, in the comments section, or better still, your own thoughts. Donald Trump, a convicted felon, has now advanced one of the most stunning comebacks in political history.